Hi there. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use this automatic uh, four-step button holder. We'll be using um, the foot. We'll be using a seam ripper to actually cut the buttonholes. And then we have, I'm not sure whether you can actually see it, but I've marked with my fabric pen where I actually want the foot, the, um, the buttonholes to be cut. So we've got four buttonholes on there just so that you've got a nice clear example of, of what it is that we need to be cutting and sewing. So the first thing we'll do is pop on the buttonhole foot. There is um, a section that slides up and down and that's what we use so that we make sure the measurement is accurate. So pop on the foot. If you're not clear on how to do this, I do have a tutorial on that process. So we lift the foot and we start it with the latter mark at the top of the foot and the bottom mark at the bottom of the foot. So we just need to slide that up so that everything is lining up on our oops, on our pattern that we've made on the fabric if you like. And then you make sure the stitch length is within the buttonhole section on your um, sewing machine and you make sure that you're on step one and then you sew forwards and as you can see this thing closes up and then you change to step two that sews across the end and then you change to step three and then you sew back and this will match the other side up to where you started from and when you've reached the top, you step back to option four and close the top of the buttonhole. So if we move on, you can see that we've now got step one, step two, step three, and then step four in closing it all. So we'll go through and do that again. I'll just repeat that a couple more times. And then we drop the foot. Step one. Step two, step three, coming back up to where we started from, and then step four to close it off. I'll do a longer one, just so that you can see the same process, um, no matter how long a stick, uh, buttonhole you need. So if we make this the longest buttonhole that we can, for this particular foot. So we come down on side one. There's no need to force anything, just let the machine work at its own pace. Step two. And then step three, coming back. And then once you've reached the top end, come back to step four to enclose it. And that's all there is to it. Um, that's the actual sewing of the buttonholes. But now what we need to do is actually cut into them. And this is where we're going to use the seam ripper. So we will be inserting the point and then sliding it along until we, we hit the, the terminus to the end piece. If I show you that on the larger, insert the seam ripper and then slide it slowly and gently along. You want to use control, so when you hit the end piece you stop, turn the fabric around, insert it into the gap, slide along slowly and gently. When you hit the end piece you stop and you now have a buttonhole. I'll do that again on the smaller ones. Insert the seam ripper and slowly and gently slide along until you come to the end and then do the same in the opposite direction slowly and gently if you try and rush you can end up doing what I did here if you try and rush it through you cut through the, the stitches on the edge of the buttonhole itself um, which means you can't use that buttonhole 
it's uh, it just becomes a mess yeah, and it's very hard to sew back over the top so always always one last time you go slow and gentle so you insert the seam ripper slowly slide it along turn it around slowly slide it along the other direction and there we have three buttonholes that work quite nicely and are beautifully sewn I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did please can you like the video and maybe even subscribe to the channel. You can find all my contact details at the end of the video and I hope to hear from you soon. If you have any comments or suggestions for future tutorials please just leave a comment below. Speak to you later. Bye.